An exponential model for the number of newly mapped stars in a distant nebula estimates that the astronomers identified 520 stars in 2003, sounds like an initial, and at the end of each four year period for the next 20 years, so if it happens every four years for 20 years, I'm, I'm thinking of a number five, but we'll get to that, right? Uh, the number of mapped stars was 180% more than the number at the end of the previous four-year period. Okay, I think we have an idea of what's happening. Which of the following equations represents this model where S is the number of mapped stars T years after? Okay, so I want to focus on the T years first. We, we can see that the initial is 520 in all of them, so that's not going to help. So I'm looking at 4t versus t over 4. So remember, if it's happening every 4 years for 20 years, after 4, after 8, after 12, 16, 20. So that's where we got the 5 from. This 180% more should happen 5 times when t is 20. So if I plug in t is 20, I'm going to get this weird 80 in both of these, right? But over here, I'm going to get 5 and 5 because the uh, the increasing is happening 5 times. So we already know it's C or D. And then some people might be thinking it's C because I see the 180%. But we want to remember our binary percentage rule. If it's 180% of, then it's going to be 1.8. If it's ever 180% more than or increased by 180%, you have to add 1. It turns into 2.8 and it's going to be here.